guys, it's Rian from Prairie Pioneer Schoolhouse. I am here today to do a video all about Seton, the Seton Science Curriculum. I had some requests on my first grade unboxing with Seton if I could do something a bit more in detail on the Seton Science Curriculum, and I would be happy to do that. Uh, like all my videos, I'm usually doing it during the time where my kids have a little bit of TV time, so you might hear the TV in the background. It's just real life, please forgive me. So what I have here today, I have four different items from the Seton Science Curriculum. I have Science 1, Science 2, Science 3, and Science 4. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through these and I'm gonna show you some of the table of content, uh, give you a little bit of an idea of what the imagery looks like, um, and kind of my feelings so far of what I know about the Seton Science curriculum. If it's something that you're interested, please stick around and watch. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna start off with is Science One. Now I do wanna say this is the 2018 edition. It feels absolutely wonderful. The binding is a little thicker than the previous edition, so um, if you're buying used, then I don't know if this is gonna compare with the used items, but, um, but this is the newest edition, and so far I think it's really nice. So let me flip the camera around and show you guys the table of contents. So when you first open it, so here we go, Science One for Young Catholics, the 2018 edition. When you first open it, you notice that this year is mostly life science. All the books so far, um, except for a few, are dedicated to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, which is absolutely beautiful. I love the fact that they are dedicated to our Lord and the Sacred Heart, and I think it's so good for our children to see that. We have our introduction. Oh, I skipped the table of contents. Excuse me. I don't want to bend back the binding. It's just so nice, and it's I haven't started it with my son yet, so I want to be just extra gentle. So here we have the table of contents. We have the introduction and all the chapters so far. There seems to be a good flow of the human body, of our health, what's going on inside of our body, the soul, all of that good stuff. So here I'm going to do a little flip through, a little closer up so you can see it. I have a little something over there. There we go. Beautiful, full-colored pages. We have some beautiful artwork and also some fun animation. I think it's a really good mix in here. I think the old one used to be more of Japanimation style. I really like what they've done with this. I would definitely go for the new edition. Fantastic. Oh, I love the, I love it. I, I, I remember the, the first grade one um, before, and this one is definitely, I feel like a step up. So that's science one. Now we have science two. This is an older edition. This is from 2007. Please forgive me. I do not have anything newer than that. Um, next year I will have obviously science two for my son, but this year I only have um, the old edition that someone gave me years ago. So we're just gonna take a look through here, but just know this is not one of the newest editions. You might be able to find something a little newer. Um, so here we have uh, science two for young Catholics. Again, dedicated to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Um, the contents. Yes, this is definitely an older an older edition, you can tell. But we have God's creation, science and scientists. We have all about our universe, the earth, like magnets, electricity, light, sounds. We have uh, the life of different types of planets on this earth. And then we go right into the chapters. Uh, there's artwork and graphics. It does feel a bit like the older versions because it is. But honestly, this is still great content. It is still beautiful. Oh, we got Pluto in there. I love it. <laughs> I was like devastated when they announced that Pluto wasn't a planet anymore. Okay, so here's Science 2. Now we have Science 3. This is the 2015 edition. This is the newest one they have. My son does this to all of his books. I'm like, really, buddy? Really? Okay, so here we go. Science 3. This is their newest edition, I believe, for this science because I just received it. So... Dedicated to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, and I have, I believe, St. Margaret Mary here. It's beautiful. All right, and on this side, we have a table of contents. We have simple machines, investigating matter, food chain, habitat, soil, cycles in nature, the water cycle, and energy. It's beautiful, and oh, oh, I love this. I honestly haven't even flipped open this yet. I'm so excited because the health book has this family as well, the sweetest little stories in it, and so I'm assuming that science can be written very similar to the health, and it's gonna be through, yes it is, look. It was a lovely Saturday in October, and the Martins were busy working in the yard, so it's written through 
uh, through story form of this family. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm even more excited about it than when I first opened it up. <laughs> okay, now we have Science 4. I have to say this one is a step up from these. These are all fantastic, but I'm gonna show you what I mean. First, this is the 2015 edition. You open it up. We have again dedicated to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, but check out this table of contents. I believe this is a lot more thorough. It's a lot thicker than the other books. Definitely a step up in material. Um, they're knowing that the child is able to handle a lot more now. Uh, we start off with the heavens. We move to our little area, earth, space, and moon with around us. Then we go down onto our earth, oceans, weather, and climate. Move even closer in detail with matter, solids, liquids, and gases, then to machines, and then living things, and the wonder of man. Not done yet. We have the rest of, the, uh, of, of man, and then safety and health. Excellent. I'm going to give you a flip through of this one as well. It's very Catholic, solid Catholic teaching all the way through. I love how they weave that. We want our children to know that we can believe in God, and we can use science as well. So definitely not as uh, many huge, ginormous pictures, a lot more writing, but definitely didn't cut out the pictures. We have beautiful artwork. We have great imagery. I think it's very captivating. I've been already working with this with my son, and we're enjoying it. So here you have these four sciences. One, two, three, and four. I'm assuming that the new um, science two is also bound like these, more of a flat side in the bound and not like, oh. I'm getting a hug for my, my preschooler. Hi, buddy. Are your books? I did. Oh, are I these yours? These are my three and a half year old's. Ooh, his books. Angels and one, two, three. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. We got, we got another one. We got Mary. These are for kindergarten. And, oh, praise and thanksgiving. Thank you for showing us your books. Last one. One more. Oh, the Holy Bible. He wanted you guys to see his beautiful kindergarten books. Where, oh, wait, 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 wait. And the rosary, just in case, if you're wanting to know. And Lent. Important stuff. Thanks, high five. <laughs> That's one thing I like, again, about the science and health books is it incorporates in a family and that's what it's about. We're homeschooling, right? We have our family. We love our children. We don't want to push them away. They're not to be, you know, seen and not heard. They're here and they're present and we love each and every one of them. Anyway, um, I'm gonna hold my baby so you might get a little hand going everywhere. So what I want to say about the Seton Science curriculum is I like it. I've looked at a lot of different types of curriculum. Um, we tried sunlight. We did CHC. Now granted, I have never in my whole entire time of homeschooling, finished a complete curriculum with um, any specific one. What we've done since my kids are still pretty young is we've really lived out our science. We've gone to museums, we've gone on field trips, we have taken vacations, we work in a lot of stuff. So I've never really been one to uh, be a big curriculum person for science, at least not yet. This year is going to be different. We will be completing our first year of full science since we are enrolled with Seton. And honestly, guys, I'm really excited about it because, I, and there's a foot. I'm excited because so for so many years, people would say, oh, you don't need curriculum. You don't need curriculum for science. And that's true. I don't technically need it. But you know, there's a great piece that comes along with the fact that you know things are being covered. And one thing I absolutely love about Seton is that you know that you're covering things from a Catholic perspective. They're weaving in Catholicism all the way through. And I mean, our Lord is the creator of life, of science, basically. We're studying science, so that's us. We're, we're coming up with a study of it, and that's what science is. But God is the creator, and he has stamped his mark on all things. And so this curriculum is going to really help me as a mother be able to guide my children to see where the Lord's stamp is within creation. I think that's really special. So I wanted to come on and do this video about just kind of giving you a broad idea of kind of what their science curriculum is like, at least up to grade four. Um, uh, show you the table of contents, show you a flip through so you can see the imagery, you can get an idea. And just from one mom to another or one mom to a dad, um, I think it's very nice. As the year progresses, I will share more and more with you. But honestly, this is how I feel about I feel about this way with pretty much anything. If you have chosen a curriculum and you feel like it has been the call that God has laid on your heart, you finish that curriculum and you add what you feel is lacking. So if you feel, I don't know, you know, this curriculum's good, but I feel like there could be a little this or a little that, just add it in. I mean, in the lesson plans, it talks about usually on Fridays, 
it gives you ideas and things you can do to kind of bring those lessons to life, do that, you know? So um, if you have any other questions about Seton Science curriculum, please leave it in the comments below. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Please like this video if you'd like to see more. And as always, leave it in the comments if you have more questions or you have other suggestions and ideas for videos. I hope you guys have a great day. God bless. Bye.